This KSIC Connects training video will cover the Customer Import tool. To import customers into the CConnects customer database, navigate to the Customers tab and on, underneath the Customers table, select the Import button. This will open up a Windows Explorer that allows you to navigate and select the CSV file that contains your customer list. Before we do this, we want to make sure that our CSV file is correctly configured to allow the import to work correctly. Let's cancel that and, and navigate to where we have the CSV file located. For this example, we have created a file called Import Customer Template. Let's open that file up and take a look at it. This is a CSV file that has a list of nine customers and the related information. As you can see, we have operation in column A, the first name, the last name, the address one, address two, the city, the state, the postal code, the country, the mobile number, the business number, an email, and a comment field. Not all of these fields are required, but the operation and the first name and the last name are at a minimum required. As you can see, it's important to make sure that we have the fields named correctly so that when we go through the import wizard, we can correctly select which field belongs to which, uh, which column belongs to which field in the CConnects customer table. If you set your CSV file up and, and, and configure it similar to this, it will make selecting the, and matching the fields in the CConnects wizard, import wizard, much easier. There are a few other things that we want to make sure that we look at and correct in this uh, uh, CSV customer list in order for the import to work correctly. We want to make sure that none of the records within this CSV file contain a comma. If there are any commas, we want to make sure that we replace that comma with another uh, with another symbol like a dash. So as we look through this CSV file, we can see that here we have have the operation name Noland, comma, Sean. This record will cause the import wizard to not work, and so we want to make sure that we remove that comma. If we delete that comma, that customer, that operation is now Noland, Sean. We can also um, replace that comma with a dash or any other symbol. We also want to make sure that there are no quotation marks within the CSV file. As we look through this record, we can see that we have for the operation Michael Miller, we have an address with a PO box 114 for the address 2 with quotations around it. We want to remove those quotation marks. And lastly, we want to make sure that our phone numbers are configured with uh, the area code and the phone number in the correct format. We can see that for Little Farms we have a phone number with no dashes. This will cause an error with the import wizard and so we want to make sure that we add, add the appropriate dashes for the phone number. Once we have done that and all of the fields are formatted correctly, we want to, we want to save the CSV file to our computer. Once it is saved, we can navigate back to our CConnects window and click on the import button. As you can see, the Windows Explorer opens up and we can navigate to that CSV file that we had saved. It's important to make sure that you pay attention to where that file is located on your computer when you save it. This import customer template is, this, is the CSV file that we had open and that we configured correctly, so we're going to click on that file and say open. This is going to open up a dialog box on our CConnects application and as you can see it pulls in a list of all of the customers and that information for us to scroll through. Underneath that we have a list of field names within CConnects and a list of columns in each drop-down box. We need to go through each of the drop down box and select the appropriate field name to match or column to match the field name. As you can see, we have operations as the CConnects uh, field and we want to select operations 
as the uh, column in our CSV file. We'll follow that through and select first name for the first name, last name, address one, address two, city, state, postal code for the zip code, country. We'll select mobile, the mobile number, business for the business number, email, and comment. Once we have all of the fields matched up to the columns, we can scroll back up and we can make sure that we have um, all of the correct data selected that we want to import. Um, we can see all of the items are listed per row. If there was a customer that we didn't want to import, we could uncheck them. Um, we do want to scroll to the bottom of that list and make sure that there are no empty lines that are checked to import and uncheck those. I like this bottom row here. Once we verified that, we want to press the Save button. We will then get a dialog telling us that the import was successful. successfully imported customers. At this point, the entire list of customers is uh, showing up. Um, and these customers, if we navigate to our, to our control system, we can go to customers, and we can see that the, that the list that we just imported is in our V4 auto treat system. These customers can now be selected when setting up an order.